I mentioned earlier how you can have a default location set for the components that you're placing. A location is the physical placement in the real world of that object. These circuit breakers, I want to live inside of the chassis of the control panel. Right now, if I were to right click any of these objects and look at the symbol properties, you will see that they're set to the main electrical closet. You will also see a component browser tree indicating that in a graphical hierarchy. To change the location of any one object, I can right click on it, choose symbol properties, and select the location button from here and set that to the chassis. Say OK, it will then move to that location. In fact, we do have a way of graphically browsing that tree at any time. There is a components browser that will actually show that happening. The component browser shows that we have a location called L2, the chassis, and F1, Q1 is loaded here. F1 respects the function, and Q1 respects the mark number. If I hit the plus sign next to it, I can see the location of the symbol. This color symbol indicates that it's a single line diagram type symbol, and it's on sheet one, row one. As you can see, a little bit of this is poking up above row one here, so that's why it identifies as row one. To set the other ones, we can bulk select them like so, right click on them, and choose change location. We can also select them from the tree here and choose change location. So I'll do that for this one. And we can also set the sheets properties to default every object on the drawing to a certain location. As you can see, my sheet is showing this as the main electrical closet. To update this, let's go to the drawing browser and right click on sheet one. And I can change the location. Here, I'll set everything to be on the chassis of the control panel. Now, if I drop in new objects, I will then have them placed on that control panel.